I'm really passionate about community environmental groups and there are more than 600 of these groups that we know about scattered throughout New Zealand and they're restoring their local environments. These range from just small local forest remnants, local streams, up to great huge swathes of the landscape. They're doing some really exciting work, a lot of weed control, a lot of pest control. They're actually making a real difference to those places. And some of these groups are also getting into doing science. And I call this grassroots citizen science because these are people who actually don't have a science background. But they're out there doing some important measurements. And these measurements are generally help these groups to shape and to grow their projects. They help these groups to kind of measure the, the, the change that they're actually making on the ground. I think these groups are making a huge difference. I think that New Zealand would be a much, much poorer place if these groups weren't voluntarily doing the work that they're doing. These groups are really reliant on having strong partnerships. Without those partnerships, it makes it very, very difficult for those groups to function effectively. But it's a win-win situation because what they're doing is often working on agency-administered land. If they weren't doing that work, then nobody else would be able to do it. There just isn't the resourcing there for it. And often these groups are carrying out that science on the agency administered land as well. So there's some really good data being collected. But like I said, it's only being used in the group's projects themselves. And I think that there's some great opportunities for those data to be used more widely. Because the more information that we have about our environment, the more effectively that we can manage it.